70 years seems a very short time to me, although to some of you it seems to be an enormous amount. But uh, I remember very well when I started working for the New House family and the New House papers. Uh, I was a college kid, uh, editor of my college paper, and I applied for a summer job at the Long Island Daily Press, which was one of the New House papers. The people who did have that kind of an effect on my lucky life were the three brothers of the Newhouse family who founded the Newhouse newspapers and who I was lucky enough to become attached to. Uh, I met the youngest of the three brothers, Norman Newhouse, and he trained me to be an editor. And then he passed me along to his older brother, Ted, who trained me to be a publisher. And they, two of them then passed me up to S.I. Newhouse, the eldest and the founder of the newspaper group, with whom I worked until, unfortunately, he died. Uh, he was a fascinating man, but all three were. Uh, Norman was one of the most best organized men I have ever known, a remarkably fine executive. But so was Ted and so was S.I. I think that was the path to their success. And I was the lucky recipient of all of their knowledge and their training. When I started the newspaper business, I remember somebody telling me that it wasn't long lasting because radio had just become an all-day affair. That was in the 40s, uh, late 40s. Then in the 50s, of course, television came and everybody predicted the death of newspapers because of television news. Well, radio didn't kill us and television didn't kill us. Now, of course, people are very worried about the internet and that is more of a threat than perhaps the predecessors. But I have a sneaking suspicion that we'll survive that too because we offer an ingredient that is, I think, necessary, and that is trust. People have learned that they trust newspapers. They've learned that newspapers are fair and accurate impartial, nonpartisan. They they think about newspapers think about what they offer you before they jump to, to to offer it to you. I became a newspaper man because for whatever reasons at, at a very early age I felt that people had to do good, that people had a role to play in the in, in the lives of their communities. Uh, newspapers were a marvelous way to do it. Uh, I, I knew it in the fifth grade that I was going to be a newspaper man. I became the editor of the high school paper. I became the editor of the college paper. And I was thrilled to become a reporter. I think that being in the newspaper world is the finest path toward doing good. And I think every citizen has an obligation to return to the community the values and the, and, and the opportunities that every community offers its people. Uh, I, I can't think of a better job. I have always loved to come to work. I have enjoyed the things that I do, and I enjoy them still. The truth is, here I am uh, at the tender age in a few days of 89, and I'm going to work every day because I like it. I, I don't think there's anything else I would rather do. If I were a young kid starting a, out at the age of 15, 16, 17, I think going into the news business is a marvelous way to earn a living 
and feeling good about earning that living.